food reporter here. It's summer and of course that means one very important thing for all of us cooks out there, farmers markets. There's so many great markets here in the Milwaukee area and we are at the Brookfield Farmers Market today and I wanted to learn more about it so we're going to talk to market manager Bobby Harvey. Bobby, this has been going on for 19 years. Yes. How did it get started? Starting out we had maybe a handful of people at card tables as the reputation of the market has grown, we've been able to add vendors and farmers. How many people come on each Saturday? Well, it's hard to say. Last year, uh, we did have someone physically count. And we, oh had, we had over 4,000 customers on a Saturday morning. Wow, that's amazing. So why do you think it's important to buy locally, buy straight from the farmer? Well, I think people enjoy that relationship. They like to know where their food is coming from, and the market becomes part of their Saturday morning routine. These markets start at 7.30. You have to get up pretty early to be here? A lot of work? <laughs> well, you have to, have to get up early, but I'm used to getting up early for work. And it's fun. Um, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be here. Sure, so, exactly. is unique. I've never seen anything like this. It's called a sweet apple pepper. They're sweet and they're real thick meat. They are thick meat. Yeah. Okay. Thick. Are they okay for sauteing as well? Sure. well? Why don't I take a dozen? I'd like to play with them. Sounds fun. Hi Bob, how are you? Oh, fine. I hear you've been here for 19 years yeah, selling your produce. I started this market with about uh, seven or eight other uh, okay. people yeah and it's 19 years ago so you do your growing and your weeding and all that oh, yeah, during the all, week all you pick on friday you yep. set up on yep. saturday and there's no chemicals on any of my photos all naturally grown i'm out there weeding and i chase the bugs with lime okay it gets on them and they don't like lime on their bodies so yeah they, they take off they, i would love these beets i like to roast these with a little olive oil oh, and yeah, some balsamic vinegar yeah mm -hmm. They're also they're very good sautéed. Yes. Or even or even just fry them up with onions yeah. or, and mushrooms are delicious yeah. too. I have my own little garden at home, so I have a couple of things that I don't need to buy at the market, like tomatoes and cucumbers. And I do like to buy kohlrabi, and I like to buy I like to buy some of the bakery. <laughs> So we're at the market. Normally people come to the market to buy food and produce. And here there's a guy selling cutting boards. Perfect accompaniment to all the produce. So tell me a little bit about your wood making business. Well, it's my marriage gossip. I'm in the basement, <laughs> grandma's upstairs. Got it. <laughs> it's a way to keep you guys married. Most of them <laughs> are hard maple. Okay. And it's also made, it's called end grain. Okay. You're used to cutting on wood this way. Okay. These are all made so that you're cutting here on the end. All right. That will not mark nearly as easy. Oh. Your knife won't go into it nearly as easy. Okay. The larger one is for all the macho men. <laughs> I was going to say, if you needed to end your marriage quick, you could use one of these. <laughs> They're really heavy. <laughs> Well, today's market is wrapping up. No reason to be sad, because there's going to be another one next weekend, and I can't wait to see what I find next weekend.